And the main event, this one. So I saw Rose kick Wele in the face, saw the wet kiss, saw the best in the world, uh, Tony Robbins motivational shit. And I was all fired up. And then uh, Chappelle got off stage and I was like trying to wait, trying to, they're just walking. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. And I, in my head, I'm thinking, all right, 25 minutes and there's no way my set's around 50 in an hour. So I'm definitely going to miss it. Sure enough, missed it because only lasted seven minutes with the break. So you had the first round, and then which I missed missed the first round, but I heard Kamara was doing well. And then uh, that knockout, man, Jesus Christ. Who saw that coming? Uh, if, if Again, I thought K Kamara Usman via uh, decision. thought he would take him down, wear him out, pound him, maybe get a late TKO stoppage, but not a fucking early second round. Oh. Lights out KO of Jorge Masvidal, and it, and I don't know when these this fan base. A lot of you are, but a lot of you still aren't. Aren't going to start believing Kamar Usman's the best welterweight of all time. You just got to look at it like this. And I keep telling you guys, this, especially in in 2021, the level of difficulty that Kamar Usman is facing is so much higher than GSP. So much higher. It's not even close. You know what happened to Matt Hughes in his prime right now in the UFC? Get fucking annihilated. All those guys. What? Remember when Johnny Hendricks, some would say, and GSP's my straight-up friend. Remember when Johnny Hendricks basically beat GSP? You remember that? And they gave it to GSP? Remember that? Yep. You know, oh, oh, you think Johnny Hendricks would beat Kamar Usman? How? Go. How? What would he do? That big overhand left? No, come on. Is he going to out-wrestle him? No. How's he going to beat him? Better cardio? Fuck no. How would he beat him? Kamar Usman wiped the fucking flo floor with a vintage Johnny Hendricks. It's just, it's just the way, it's just the way it goes, man. These guys are bigger, better versions of those guys back in the day. They're just better at everything. There's more science into it. They're more professional. They have stronger camps, better coaches, better access to training. Everything's better. Kamar Usman would beat the fuck out of GSP in his prime. And you guys gotta get on board, man. You got to get on, but what he's doing is insane. And you're going to miss it because you're because you're, you're haters. You're going to miss it. You got these blinders on. You're living back in the day. You got these fucking blinders on. Kamal Usman is the best welterweight of all time. Get on the train now. He took that heat because that one time, who'd he beat? Uh, he beat, don't tell me, Jin. He beat uh, Dos Anjos. Remember he beat Dos Anjos? This is all right, fighting. He goes, that's me at 30%. And Dana was pissed. The fans were pissed. Ever since then, dude, he's giving you a hundo, and he's stopping dudes. Look, look what he did, Gilbert Burns. All you got, all and all, I'm talking inside people, inside who trained with Kamaro, coaches that I know at ATT, coaches in Florida, told me, I'm telling you, man, Gilbert Burns is gonna beat him. I don't see it, man. Yeah, you don't see training. I don't give a fuck about training. I don't care about training. Don't call me and tell me how good a guy did in training. I do not care. That's not real. So when the lights are on, Kamaro is the best 170 year we've ever seen in the UFC. Hopefully this swayed you guys a little more. To knock out Co fuck <coughs> Jorge Masvidal? To knock him out cold like that? A guy who's never been stopped? A guy who's been doing it for fucking ever? His record's like 35 and 15. He's fought everybody. His only losses are like split decisions, really. He's beat everybody. And then the narrative was, right, on What's Up, Brent Schaub, episode five, at the biggest Jorge Masvidal fan of all time. That guy should call back uh, this week, by the way. He wore a Masvidal Reebok fight kit. Shout out to him. Only guy I've ever seen the fight kit on. And he called in and was like, you know, Kamaru has, I mean, uh, Jorge has 12 weeks to train. It's going to be a different camp. I was like, I, I don't know, dude. But I and I said this. I said if the fight does, if it's uh, before five, don't go to the judges because Jorge landed a big shot. Wrong, Brendan. Kamara's getting better. Train with Trevor Whitman. Common theme here, by the way. Trevor Whitman uh, has trained Rose since day one. He trained Justin Gaethje since day uno, numero uno. I was there when Justin Gaethje came in from Northern Colorado and couldn't see and had to wrestle with glasses on and didn't know how to throw a punch. Trevor took him under his wing and taught him how to throw a jab, taught him his leg kicks. Rose was very good at jiu-jitsu. Now she's probably the best striker in the strawweight division. That's Trevor Whitman. And then Kamara Usman, 
I'll give it to you for a long time. Not the most exciting. Was taking guys down, grinding them out. Best cardio in the game. Best gas tank in the game. Oh, the the dude can strike now, can he? That's Trevor Whitman. So you get on the Trevor Whitman train as well. <laughs> Dropping gems to guy, today, guys. Dropping pearls.